Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to discuss all the options or settings you could find in the settings of the OnePlus One. Before starting, let me remind you I'm using the OnePlus One with uh, Synergy Mode 11 version with uh, KitKat 4.4.4. So let's talk about the settings menu. From the notification area, you'll get the settings option. In first, you have this wireless and networking options. There, you can use the Wi-Fi and uh, you can scan, you can input WPS pin entry, you can uh, turn on the Wi-Fi direct to connect to near device and then other Wi-Fi safety settings are here. In Bluetooth, you have normal Bluetooth options. In mobile networks, you can Turn on the mobile data, data roaming and then preferred network and then access point you can customize or select and the network provides for select new net, uh, ISB. So next data usage here you can find all the uh, information about the da mobile data consumption on different apps on the system and you can also turn on from the here. And other options are here as well. If we click on the more option, you can get this airplane mode, and then you can also choose a default SMS app. NFC you can turn on, turn off, Android Beam, tethering, and portable options are here, so you can turn on the portable options. And then VPN you can set up the VPN, which is a private network you can set up, and then sell broadcast option. Next on the personalization section you can find lock screen. First is a lock screen security, there is a slide option, none, face unlock, pattern, pin, password. These settings we usually use in or we can find in almost all the Android phones. So it automatically unlock option and the power button instantly locks. So if you click on the power button it will instantly lock. And then in button actions, you can can customize the actions like home unlock. Pressing the home button will unlock the phone. Long press home button menu unlock. Long press menu back. Everything you can set up. And then you can click on the custom lock screen option to customize the lock screen. So if you turn off that one, you can change like battery set its status and all you can change. Let's take a look at the. So this is the custom. If you click on the custom lock screen, that option will go. So again, opt for that one. And then camera widgets, clock widget, you can turn on and off all those settings. Then next is the theme settings. This is using Cyanogen mod themes, so you will find theme packs here, and you will get you can get more themes from online. And in themes, you can change almost its styles, icons. You can change all the individual parts of the system, so it's great. Icons, phones, wallpaper, lock screen, wallpaper, even boot animation, sound packs, everything can change twice. Then status bar, you can uh, settings against bar like clock style, it's default. You can come into center and then hidden you can make. And then if you want to see the battery circle style, circle now, you can change to text, other options. Then you can even turn off the battery percentage option, signal status level, brightness control, show notification count, the options are there. Now the notification drawer, so this is notification drawer. Here you can do auto close behavior, you can turn on, turn off, and quick settings panel. Quick pull down option is there, so this is the quick pull down option, like if you sliding from here, it will show the quick pull down option so here show if you want the smaller IK tiles you can go for that one and tiles and layout we can customize all the tiles and layout you can you are seeing here so you can add more tiles here as you can see so you can customize almost all the areas and then sound modes you can choose the sound modes which are the sound modes should activate when click on the sound, sound tile and then screen out time mode location modes 
another dynamic tiles and then the heads up display it's visible if some notification came you will show like heads up display that show entire if you need quick access ribbon like this is the quick access ribbon if you don't want that one you can do this but it's very handy so I'm turning on that one size of the ribbon bar it's automatic if you need big you can go for that one so I'll go for the automatic itself and link layout you see internet as well and then tiles and options are here as well so that's the notification drawer now next is the gesture this is the screen of gesture there are three main gestures are there for example camera music with flashlight so even if the screen will turn off you just need to double tap then the screen will turn, turn off uh, turn on again you can double tap here to turn it off next if you want to turn on the camera you just need to draw a circle here as you can see it's turned on the camera directly even without asking for the screen security and if you are drawing V the flashlight will turn on again drawing V flashlight will go and then if you need to play the music just using double finger you can play that one and if you need to skip the track just draw like this it's changing the track now if you want to go back to the previous track like this so it's very handy and if you want to pause the music just I don't know why it's not working it should work ok it's gone so here, here as well you can see the music options you can turn it on, on from here as well from the left screen it's good so these are the gesture shortcuts next sound option you get out the phone ringtone you can change whatever you can change and then volume ascending ringtone vibrate when ringing volumes you can change ring more ringing mode volume expandable so it is talking about the volume panel if you click on this one you will get this one it's expanded then you will get this one sinker you will get this one so I will go with the expandable quiet hours are there music effects so it will auto on the audio effects can customize all the options from here like speaker, the headset, Bluetooth, USB, many options are there. By well sliding here, you can change the equalizer. And if you want to turn on the or launch the music app when connecting the headset, you can do that. And then a default notification sound. I better on division by able to doing call and all the dial part at tones, touch tones, screen lock sound, vibrate tone, volume adjust and then charge volume if you want you can turn it on and then you can customize that also. Next is the display and lights. First one is the brightness, rotation, sleep, phone size, daydreams like screenshot, a screen saver for the Android, cast screen. Expand, expanded desktop display disable lock screen notification light you can customize all the notification light battery light adaptive dip, backlight color enhancement double tap to wake double tap to sleep screen of animation style so this is the normal one if you need the electric theme you can choose that one so it will the screen off will be like that and then next is buttons you can customize the hardware buttons here if you need navigation bar you will get all these buttons like this but I prefer, always prefer the capacity button so I will go for that one backlight power menu so this is a normal power menu 
as you can say if you need to add screenshot here just click on screenshot so you will get screenshot option here you can miss that and call navigation if you are going for the navigation bar you can customize all the buttons here so button and layout everything you can customize it's good so that is there quick launch shortcuts you can also customize quick launch shortcuts left handed mode other options are there and answer call long press action for the home button so you can customize what action you should do if you pressing the home button for the long time and double tap menu button short press and long press volume button wake up volume button play control everything is there storage option you can find the storage you can mount the usb and there is usb storage and battery you can find the battery usage of the phone tap and page not available right now profile you can change the profile location security option you can provide the device managers unknown sources to install any apps from outside the play store other options are there and then in privacy there is privacy guard so you can choose which app which app should give permission to do what and all so you can always select allow denied always ask for each and every options here the blacklist using blacklist you can put any number to the blacklist so you won't get notification from them and then filter notification you can do this if you want you can filter some notification of these uh, different apps and this option is like a more secure sms and then sanity mode statistics and now it's crashing login and then here language you can choose from here and then even the input method i use the swift key because it's really nice you can customize this if the key as well and then here the backup um, data you can take the backup of the data and the wi-fi password everything to the google account and then view factory reset data reset to clear all the datas date and time you can give all this information accessibility option you can get talk back captions magnification gestures so if you tap three time you will get the magnification options so it's good so that is there main function and then the developer options you can change the android db being other options are there and performance you can work on the processor and everything this is very uh, this is for the advanced users so you better don't touch that and uh, about phone you can find all the information about the phone and uh, it's software versions band base band kernel versions memory build type build and everything you can find so these are the complete settings menu through video hope it helps if you have any questions you can ask on the description below and the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe for more